Well, good evening, folks. Me and Lisa, or Mama Sue, and Boom Dog, we're out here taking a nature walk. While we're doing it, let's catch us some shiners, golden shiners. You know, on this channel, I use a lot of golden shiners, and I get a lot of email and comments about them. How do I catch them? I'm fixing to show you. All right, folks, it's late in the evening. Now, usually, I'll catch my shiners late in the evening, or early in the morning that's when they're the most active and i'm out here on the backwaters of the tennessee river and what i look for is aquatic vegetation such as milfoil hydrilla and lily pad stems believe it or not um, and, and this is real skinny water right here it's real shallow shiners love this kind of habitat real 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 skinny water now right over here I don't know if the camera's picking them up, but if you'll if you'll look, you'll see some little light ripples. And here's one in front of us. That's what they do. Shiners are are not vegetarians. Shiners eats insects off the top of the water for the most part. Uh, they also eat eggs, bass eggs, bluegill eggs. They're a feisty little predator. Is what a golden shiner is. And uh, I'll show you, we're going to get rigged up right here, and I'll show you how I catch them, or one of the ways I catch them. All right, folks, I'm ready right here now. I'm using one-pound test line right here. I'm using a Shakespeare El Cheapo Walmart Special Rod, real flimsy. And I have a strike indicator right here like you would use on a fly rod. Little bitty float. All right. And a size, this is a size uh, 12 hook with a little bitty piece of red worm on it. And I'm fishing about a foot deep right here. That's about as deep as you need to fish when you see the shiners uh, surfacing like this. And the reason I catch my own live bait, it's a lot cheaper. Shiners are real expensive. It does take a little effort to catch your own bait and keep it alive, but I'm gonna tell you, it'll save you a lot of money, and plus, it's fun to catch your own bait. But let's make a test out here and see if we can catch a shiner. I don't see any real big ones in here. Most of, the, most of them looks pretty small, but there he is. Oh, come on up there. There he is, golden shiner. Now that size right there is worth about a three and a half pounder. Well, you don't never know, but I, when it comes to shiners, I like real, real big ones. That one there is about seven inches long. He's not, I like them anywhere from about 10, 11 inches long if I can get them. But there he is. Let's let him go. He is big enough to catch a big bass, but there's some more right there in front of me. Should get a bite. See, you hit my float. Oh, they're everywhere on it. All over it. And I missed him. But they're a hard fish to hook. If it wasn't for this little teeny tiny hook, it'd be hard for me to catch them. They're real ram... Uh, What's the right word? Rambunctious. They're hyperactive all the time. There we go. There's another. He's not as big, but that's still a good size. Now to catch a three or four or five pounder. When I'm trophy fishing, when if I'm fishing for real big bass, I don't have any need for a shiner of that size. Uh, like I said, I want the great big ones, and I hope we can catch one, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. There's another. Well, that's a good smallmouth bass size, or spotted bass. But it don't make any difference. Now in Florida, 
where I was raised, when I was a kid, my daddy showed me how to catch shiners. When I was 10, 11, 12 years old, I was catching my own bait. And uh, same situation, real thin water, a lot of aquatic vegetation. That's what you're looking for. See, and there's another one. Every time I catch one, I'm saving money. So, folks, if this video don't do anything for you, don't buy shiners. Go catch your own. Look for them. Get out here and explore and catch your own bait. Save that money. Buy your mama Sue something. A pair of shoes. Oh, my goodness. Buy her a hamburger down there at uh, MacDougall's. Something. Except for wasting your money. All right, let's look at this little shiner rig right here, and let's get specific about it. Now, this is nothing more than a strike indicator, real light. It's really made for, for a fly rod, for throwing wet flies. You know, uh, it's just something, it's just an indicator. Those of you who fly fish, you probably use them. Now, I'm just using a couple glass beads. That's my weight right there. When I move that float, they rattle a little bit, and it'll draw them shiners to it. That's another little trick. That's a Florida trick, no doubt. No weight right here at all. You don't want any weight from your float to your hook, just, just a hook. Now, shiner fishing can be just as fun as actually catching them old big bait. Look here. They're just popping it, eating it up. Look here. See, it's in a shiner's nature. Oh, it got hung up in that. I believe it come off. Yep, but it's in a shiner's nature to uh, to hit things on top. That's what they feed on mainly is little insects on top of the water. So knowing what they look like when they're surfacing is the key to catching shiners. Now that's a little, that's what I'm wanting right there. If I can get him. Huh? Yeah, that's what that's what you want right there. I'm glad I caught that. That's what I like to use for them seven, eight, nine, ten pound bass. Right there. I'm glad I caught one of those. They're kindly running small back up in here. I didn't know if one was back here or not. But that is a jumbo magnum. Okay. Golden shiner. That's the kind I like. For the large mouth. Woo. Or flathead catfish. They love them too. Let's let him go. Jumbo Magnum. Elmo. Woo. Moving that cork like that. All that does is attract them. Over to it. It's real small. And them shiners that come over to it. If they're in the area. I seen one right there. There you is a little and no little bitty on it, but nevertheless a shiner. Let's see if Mama Sue can catch a shiner. Okay folks, Mama Sue here. Let's catch one. Oops. <laughs> Good one, huh? That's a good one. That'll get him. Ouch. Yeah. See, Mama Sue can catch them. Well, folks, we're fixing to leave. I hope that that's just one way I catch shiners. There's about four or five different ways I go about it. It depends on where I'm at. Um, they're easy to find if you'll look for them but you do have to look for them. I mean, it, it is a lot of work sometimes. Sometimes it's not. 
But um, I want to give a special shout out to Steve Kamalander. Uh, he has a YouTube channel, and it's called The Old Fisherman. And I don't have time, uh, which I've mentioned before, to watch YouTube because I'm out here on the water. It takes a lot of effort to make these videos, but I just want to give him a special shout out. I enjoy his videos, and I think he's a cool dude. And folks, he can fish, no doubt. And for the rest of y'all, hey, Woo!